Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. In today's review I'm going to be taking a look at the B&M exclusive unit set from Claws of Axos that features the likes of Sergeant Benton, Captain Yates as well as a re-release of the Brigadier. So this figure set in general is probably one of my favourites as it features two characters that I never thought we would actually get released. When this set was leaked onto eBay I was in a state of shock as I never thought in my wildest dreams that we'd actually get these figures. If you told me several years ago that we would be getting Captain Yates and Sergeant Benton I'd probably think you were mad and it's amazing to think that we now have the full unit family to add to the collection. So let's firstly take a look at the packaging that these figures are housed in. It's pretty much the same as the Companions of the Fourth Doctor set with the blue and white star guide and but with the additional text stating that it's the unit set and with the publicity images of the figures on the back. Interestingly the packaging states that Sergeant Benton's real name is actually John Benton which treads into spin-off media which is very interesting to say the least. Taking the figures out of the box, they are honestly amazing. They have done such a good job to get the likenesses right for Benton and Yates. There was a lot of new tooling done to make these new figures, as well as some interesting tooling you may have not seen with the naked eye. The obvious thing to take is that we have two brand new head sculpts, which were introduced last year with the likes of Harry Sullivan. I am glad to say that they've carried on the tradition here, and it's incredibly exciting to now own these two characters. The main body that makes up the Benton and Yates figures is actually the first initial release of the Brigadier. However, they have replaced the original PVC jacket with the new torso piece, which is extremely detailed. So taking a look at Sergeant Benton, the head sculpt is beyond outstanding. They have captured the likeness dead on, in my opinion, and the paint ups are really well done with the skin tones, and they've recently added pinkish tones that covers up the cheeks and the chin to make out some sort of blemish on the face. There doesn't seem to be any paint bleeds on mine, which is good, and the paint apps are really nice and crisp, especially with the smaller details such as the unit badge on the beret. The badge has lost some additional details such as the grating on the inner circle, which is a shame, but it doesn't take anything away from these figures. But overall, the lightness is superb and does look like John Levine. Moving down to the torso piece, the sheer amount of detail is superb with all the buckles and the pouches are really nicely sculpted. The scarf around Benton's neck is given a sort of neck pattern to give the illusion that the scarf is made from a different material to the rest of the body. And all of the paint apps and the seams on the jacket are very well done and it looks rather lifelike. Looking at the pouches, they have been painted in a lighter green to the rest of the jacket to make them stand out more. The attention to detail is just honestly outstanding when it comes to all the clasps and the belts where they have painted all those small details also. To finish off the look, they have added a light wash over the paint to make it look worn after all the running around they did throughout the various stories, which is a nice attention to detail. There is even more detail on the back where they've added all the buckles and straps and they look amazing. Taking a look at the arms, again, they are originally from the Brigadier figure, but they still contain the additional detail down the sides of the sleeves as you can make out the stitching near the cuffs from the original sculpt. And they too have been painted in a sort of stony wash to make it look worn. On his left arm you can see the unit badge that has been sculpted on but he also comes with the addition of his sergeant insignia on both of his arms. And taking a quick look at the gloves they have also been painted brown. And then going down to the legs they have also been painted in a similar colour to the jacket but have also been given a dirty wash over the top to make it look like they have been worn. And the shoes have been painted in a glossy black and the soles being painted in a dark grey. And to finish off they have added a light wash of grey over the shoes to make them look worn. Looking at accessories, the figure comes with his assault rifle and unfortunately due to cost reasons the gun isn't entirely accurate to what we saw on screen. But if I'm honest I'm actually quite happy that it's come with something rather than nothing, and it's a nice little addition. The gun is just moulded in black with no additional details and can be placed into the figure's hands. Taking a look at Captain Yates, the figure is essentially the same as Benson but with a few minor differences. For example, the arms do not bear the insignias on the sides and the pouches seem to be painted a different shade of green. I just think that's to differentiate the figures between each other. As well as including a different sculpted beret which has no bleeds or damages whatsoever from what I can tell. Looking at the head sculpt, I think the likeness is slightly weaker to the Benton figure. However, I think that's just down to how thick the paint has been applied here, and has happened in the past with previous releases. 
but putting that aside, it doesn't take anything away from the figure. As I've said, the paint apps on the body are different, but one thing to add is on his epaulets, he has three silver diamonds on each side to show his rank. This again is a small detail that they didn't actually have to include. And then quickly looking down at the trousers and shoes, they're exactly the same with the dark stony wash and the dirty shoes. The last figure that comes in this set is a re-release of an old figure, which is the Brigadier. We last saw this figure in the Claws of Axos set, which came out in around 2013, and it's been slightly updated since the original release, with the new and improved paint apps. The head has been slightly retooled, as it was originally on a peg, but now the head is actually removable, so you can swap the heads around if you so desire. Looking at the paint apps on the head, they have given him the same fleshy details on the cheeks and chin. And the hair and the moustache this time around have been painted in a dark brown, rather than the plain black on the original. Comparing these two figures side by side, the detail on the new one is slightly lost in my opinion, compared to the original. But I have to say that the skin tones on the new figure just pop out even more. The paint apps on the body have been slightly tweaked with the newer one, with the beret, shoulder pads and belt being painted in a lighter green compared to the original. And the jumper has been given a dark wash over the top. Again, the figure has had a slight update with the gloves as they are now brown instead of black, which is supposedly supposed to be more accurate, but I can't remember. They have also updated the paint apps on the trousers this time around, as they look much more darker than the original release and have been given a dark wash over the top yet again to make them look worn. Then moving down to the shoes, they have been painted in a gloss black and for some reason they haven't actually painted on the dirty wash on the top. So I don't know why, but that's the thing. So quickly taking a look at the accessories, the figure does come with his pistol, which has been seen with most Brigadier variants in the past. At least some people will be happy with that. So that's pretty much it with the Brigadier figure. I am undecided which version I actually prefer, whether it's the uh, original release or the new one, but they both have their strengths and weaknesses. I do like the fact you can see more detail on the original, but I do like the updated paint apps that come with the new one. But the downside of the recent release is that most of the paint apps on the face have lost some of the original detail. But overall, it is nice to have another Brigadier to put on the shelf. So quickly taking a look at articulation, all three figures have the same movement, the head has got articulation, the arms can do a full 360 degree turn, and the same with the biceps. The figure can also bend at the elbows and has wrist articulation also. There is also articulation at the waist, the hips can move forward and out to the sides. They also come with thigh articulation and can bend at the knee. Overall, I think this set is amazing. I still can't believe we can finally display these characters with figures I have had for more than 10 years. It's honestly a dream come true for us collectors, and it's very satisfying to have the unit family on my shelf. I mean, just look at it. It's every fan's dream to reenact those famous scenes throughout the Pertwee era. So who knows, maybe in future we might see some more variants from different stories? I mean, it's been rumoured we might be seeing a Terror of the Zygons version in late 2020, early 2021, but who knows? Thank you very much for watching. My next review will probably be the second Doctor and TARDIS. I mean, I don't know yet. And uh, yeah, if you're still trying to find these sets, they are still available in B&M. So happy hunting.